He's a man you'll recognize immediately, a great character actor. He won the Venice Film Festival Award for his performance in Faces. He was nominated for an Academy Award for uh, Best Supporting Actor in Love Story. And if you've seen The Godfather, uh, he's the man who uh, ends up with something unusual in bed with him. Um, <laughs> will you welcome, please, a terrific actor, Mr. John Marley. <laughs> Nice to see you. Now, I haven't seen The Godfather. I've been trying to see it for three weeks, and I can't get in. I and can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that Mr. Evans of Paramount would send me some stills from it. I could flip them or something <laughs> and get the feeling that I knew. But I do plan to see So uh, I didn't know th about this episode of you being found in bed with something, because I also didn't read the novel. Can you believe my no, well unqualified I, I am for this job? No, I can't believe that. No, that's being uh, unusual. So without spoiling it for the people who haven't seen the film, yeah. uh, was it a real <clears throat> in bed with you? It, it was a real. Hmm. Yes, it was real. I, uh, I, I'm, I've stopped many times on the street, and people ask me that question. When I tell them the truth, they say it's not true. So now, part of the moan was probably because they think we're not going to tell them what it is, and others are maybe, <laughs> maybe we're thought it, think it's I, so gruesome. I, since I, I haven't seen the scene, I don't know. Well, it's a horse's head. It's a I horse's think we head, can and it's a real horse's head. Well, how do they get it? Uh, how do they well, do a I, thing like I that? I think, uh, I think uh, the dog food people use horse meat, and they got the head from the uh, dog meat factory, <laughs> and put it in my bed. <laughs> it's a wonderful and, story to hear uh, this time of night, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> Uh, it, and, and, uh, it's actually much more gruesome in me repeating it than when I actually did it. When you did it, it was just a well, job. Well, I did it. I did it. I, I was uh, looking at it as a character who yeah. was appalled by this thing and didn't see the, its gruesome nature. But now, when I tell it, I get a terrible reaction because I see all the, the things that are, are ugly about it now. It seems worse now. Much worse. Yeah. yeah. Much worse. Day. Well. And. Uh, I mean, it's not a memory I care to carry with me. You know? <laughs> it's not the thing you most want to be remembered no, for, no, either. But I guess no. it's quite effective in the. But it seems like it seems like that I will be remembered for that. Yeah. As I remember when they offered me the role, and I said I didn't want to uh, play uh, a role with a horse's head because I always wind up at the other end. <laughs> <laughs> played a number with a horse. Well, I don't need to spell it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to form a joke about that as you were saying it. As a matter of fact. That was it. <laughs> you seem, wh what am I thinking of you in, a, of a Western nature? Cat, is it Cat, Cat Baloo, Baloo, probably? Yes, Cat yeah, Baloo, I guess, yeah. uh, and maybe uh, some others too, but you, you seem at home in that area of uh, well, West and on horseback and yeah. all. Are you uh, a Westerner? Yeah. Hardly. No, no, I, no, I was born here in New York in Harlem, as a matter of fact. Now, there's and two people who've uh, been were were you born, born in Harlem. <laughs> I was born on 119th Street. Between <laughs> Park. Oh, they? Hello, John. <laughs> <laughs> they were me out all together. <laughs> <laughs> they born on March 4th. We've got all the statistics. Well, I'm, I'm a Libra. I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> but uh, you're not born to the saddle, then. And no, uh, not born to the it. saddle. But I did learn. Uh, I did a Western in uh, Spain mm -hmm. called Sledge. And I uh, played a dirty, filthy old man who had been in prison for 20 years and finally broke out. And uh, we shot for three months in the desert. I had to wear the same outfit and <laughs> couldn't shave. My hair was very long. I, in other words, I was pretty seedy looking and yeah. very filthy. They wouldn't, we, they wouldn't wash the clothes or clean them. They just disinfected them. <laughs> and I remember the la on the last day of shooting, I, I just couldn't wait any longer to get rid of this uh, outfit. And as they said, rat, that's a wrap, I undressed right in front, right in the desert, in my underwear, ran to the dressing room, made them cut my hair, shave me, and give me a bath right away. And how long was it by then? Three months. Three, three months. months. Three months of filth. <laughs> Gee. And what so the I'm, things you've gone through to be yeah, a... I'm not fond of Westerns. <laughs> did you develop any rashes or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I did develop a strep infection. Yeah, yeah, which, which, uh, a lot of friends. Which <laughs> well, what pleasant jobs have you had? Pleasant. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> faces, faces was really a, a, a pleasant yeah. job. Yeah. They let and you change clothes in there. They let me change clothes yeah. once. <laughs> yeah. uh, I uh, actually, uh, that picture was the uh, highlight of my acting uh, expression because uh, I was permitted to 
uh, do and explore whatever I wanted to, and, and I felt fully expressed when it was finished and had a wonderful time. Are you limited by your face in any way to playing heavies? It, it's certainly a heavies face. Uh. Well, uh, it, it had been true in the past. I, I played, uh, I think, almost every type of paranoid killer, mm -hmm. dope addict, or smuggler, mafia, uh, sorry. <laughs> 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 and and uh, it's only recently that I, uh, I think, uh, actually Faces uh, was the beginning of uh, playing roles that had some poignancy, some uh, sympathy, some so that I could get some empathy from audiences. And then Love Story, of course, uh, really uh, created a wonderful warmth between, for me, by people. I mean, people stop me with great warmth and they say, stop oh, hating you for a stop while. Stop hating me. Must be nice. Well, uh, yeah. uh, I understand they, they don't really hate me in The Godfather either. That I'm so mean, it, it can't be real. <laughs> and, uh, but I think, I think having seen the as the, as the father and love story, I have overcome my uh, killer instinct. <laughs> well, I hope so, as long as you're sitting here, at least. Yeah. <laughs> David, have you ever done anything, have they asked you to do anything so unpleasant in making of a film that you just said, I simply won't do that, or I won't wear that, or you can't smear that stuff all over me, or... Actually can't... refused to. Yeah. I, uh, no, I'm always too chicken hearted. There's always, <laughs> always so many people watching, aren't they? You know, and, and, uh, mm -hmm. But John Frankenheimer, who's raving bloody well mad, you know, this fellow, he's a friend of mine anyway, but he's, oh, he should be locked up. up. <laughs> and, and he, I said that and got sued. We were, on yeah. a, we were down in the jungle and, and, uh, in Mexico, with Faye Dunaway doing a picture. And he said to me, will you fall off the mast, you know? We were on the boat. And I said, well, how high? He said, just up there. And so I said, well, all right, I go up there. And then I realized I'd said yes on the deck. You know, so there's another 30 feet below that. So, so I'm up there with a telescope and everything, I had to fall off the mast. I said to John, four cameras. He said, one shot once, I can imagine. So I said, what about the sharks? He said, there aren't any sharks. I said, look, we're 200 miles south of Vera Cruz. They ate four priests yesterday, which they did. Four people. <laughs> so he said, well, you know, are you going to do it or not? And they're all looking up. So I said, all right, once I fall in the thing. And he said, well, when you, when you go down, he said, let your hat go. It had cork in it, because it had to come up the shore. I drowned and some bubbles out of a pipe or something. He said, swim down and stay down there and go on away, get out of there, and then <laughs> so I, I fell. I mean, I, God knows where I came. The boom, and I fell in the water, and, and the hat was jammed right down. Like, I could so I finally got, got into a psh, and it shot up like this. And I swam. I couldn't see anything. I'm waiting to be eaten alive by this time. And I got out there somewhere miles away, and he, I could hear John saying, more bubbles, you know, camera on the hat, keep the thing going. And he said, right, wrap it up, home. I said, well, out of my I'm, I, I'm, So he said, all right, come on back. And I came on back on my dying oath. It's true. And I got back on the boat. And I mean, three minutes later, a great 15-foot oh. monster went past. And I said, you suck. Look. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, dolphin, dolphin. <laughs> He should go. He should be locked up. <laughs> Man isn't safe. Well, you, you're a wonderful sport. I'll say that. We have, we have a brief message. We'll be back. <laughs>